Um, sort of switch gears a little bit and say that that's part of why I think it's important that we look at retrofitting the entire infrastructure to be more regionally self-reliant. I know that's a mouthful. But the reason why we need to retrofit the infrastructure to be more regionally self-reliant, which is how I define practicing permaculture in the Northeastern Corridor, the reason why we need to do that is we need to decentralize the power grid and we need to cut down on how much crap we're consuming in the first place. So it's like when 5% of the world's population is consuming 30% of the world's resources and throwing out 99% of it within six months of having purchased it, they want to frack to make plastic bags. People have this illusion that it's about like energy for homes. No, totally not. It's about plastic, which is ending up in a giant gyre in the South Pacific, right, the size of Texas. Uh, meanwhile, the lives of the rich and ridiculous just keep getting more ridiculous and more consumptive, right? So that's why I say, first, the difficult pill to swallow for this culture that we're going to all, as a conscious, caring community, need to work on is limits to consumption. Because everything we talk about with local production and local food and sustainability is entirely unachievable with the present rates of consumption and contamination. So all of these things happen in tandem and simultaneously, and it's, it's exciting to be here today with a group of people who are actually inspired to take on what Gary Snyder, I think, has aptly called the real work, which is the real work of healing the earth, healing the people, and healing our relationships to how it is that we meet our needs to be met in ways that are restorative, positive, and reasonable and responsible. So as we become mature, rather than a bunch of immature, consumptive adolescents, our society will begin to evolve into a more responsible set of behaviors that will meet its needs in ways that are truly generative and truly redistribute the surplus so that everybody's needs are met. Because as long as one person is suffering, as long as one person's needs aren't being met, we all realize we could be that person. And the most important social change that's going to happen is as we begin to empathize with everyone around us and realize that in order for one of us to be healthy, everybody in this society needs to be healthy.